Twister OS is a wonderful little distribution and we are going to be using that today. Welcome to the show guys. Today we are going to be taking a quick look at Twister OS on the Raspberry Pi. Twister OS is an operating system just like Raspbian is an operating system. Raspbian may be the default operating system for the Raspberry Pi, but that does not mean it is the only one. You have many other operating systems that are compatible and used on the Raspberry Pi. Twister OS is one of those. Twister OS is a wonderful little distribution and we are going to be using that today. I have an SD card. This little SD card has Twister OS on it. I'm going to remove the SD card that I currently have in my Raspberry Pi 4. On this SD card I have the Raspbian operating system and that's all there is to it. That's all that you need to do once you have your micro SD card with the operating system. If you want to completely switch the operating system that you are using on your Raspberry Pi, this is all you have to do. I mean, just think about that. Think about that for a second. You know, that, that is incredible. I'm just pulling out this little card. I'm putting a new card in. I'm, I'm using one hand. I'm not even using two hands to do this. And just like that, just by doing that, we have essentially a whole nother computer. We have a whole, whole nother operating system that we are about to use just by swapping out those cards. And you could have a dozen of those micro SD cards all with different operating systems on them and that's all you have to do is just turn off your Raspberry Pi, switch the SD card and turn it back on. Incredible. All right, it's my favorite part. Let's boot up the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to press my switch and Twister OS is now up and running. It just took a few seconds for the home screen to come up so I am going to give you just a little view of that and I'm gonna switch over to the desktop to record from from here all right guys so here we are on the desktop of Twister OS on the Raspberry Pi 4 I'm using the Raspberry Pi 4 2 gigabyte model this is Twister OS this information up here which this is kind of like, um, this may be Conky that is providing this information. I'm, I'm not sure, but always nice to just have uh, the information readily available to you, showing you CPU, showing you how many cores and how your device is running. Okay. Twister OS. This is it, guys. Twister OS is a really nice operating system. Really nice. It was easy to download it and flash it onto the micro SD card. Now, typically, you know, your default operating system on the Raspberry Pi is going to be Raspbian, okay? And that is what most people know about when being introduced to the Raspberry Pi. But there's so many other operating systems, and this is one of them. You know, when you talk about when you talk about twister os you know i feel like we are definitely stepping up to something that is that is bigger you know you can see just on initial view that there's more going on here okay there's a lot more going on here than there is on raspbian if i come up here and click on menu okay we have a much bigger list in this menu now if i come down here and Look at all that. Okay, it's a lot of accessories. Development, just a couple of things. Education, one. Games, we got quite a list of games. Graphics, internet, multimedia, it's kind of a semi large list. Office, I really like this. You have all of the applications, 
that you would need to mimic what you would be doing with Microsoft Office, but it's free, free as in freedom. Settings, wow, we got a lot of options in settings, system, another lengthy list. So as you can see, there's a lot going on here. I really like Twister. So um, if uh, you don't like looking through the list in that form, then basically you can come down here and you can click on this and it'll pull up a different type of menu. Uh, this one basically displays the same information, uh, the same applications that the other menu list did, but it just does it in a different way with big icons and you come down here i'm using my mouse wheel right now and i'm scrolling through that list like that I'm, I'm scrolling through the pages by using the mouse wheel okay now i press escape on my keyboard and it brought me back okay so uh this background this may be a little too much for you maybe a little too bright so um what if we wanted to change the background screen well if i right click it pulls up this menu it's another thing that i like is that you can pull this menu up real real quick just by right clicking and then we'll click on desktop settings and i like that it very quickly gets us right to the point and here we have the different wallpaper I'm not going to spend any more time on that so this is how you would choose between your wallpaper you know there's not a whole lot of things that i would do to change the way that this is set up i mean i like the way that it's set up by default so you know i may come in change the wallpaper and i'm not really i'm not really interested in changing anything else uh, honestly i like it the way that it is now for me I do like to use the terminal. I probably would pull it up. And, and one other change that I would make other than the wallpaper is I like to have a semi-transparent terminal window. So you see that you can see through it a little bit, not so much that it, that it really disrupts the way that you would see the text. But I like to have a degree of opacity like what you see here and to do that I just right click go to preferences go to appearance and then right here for background and opacity and you can adjust that like this so let's say if I moved it just a little bit more okay and then I close and there you go doesn't really look like I even changed it that much. So yeah, I probably would do that, you know, just change the opacity, add a new user and no longer use the pie just for security reasons. I would probably get away from the pie as user, maybe change the host name, you know, etc. right? Another video, another subject. But two things that if, it were if these were not installed on twister os these are two things that i have to have no matter which distribution of linux i am using the two things that i am going to make sure that i have are htop so sudo apt get install htop now, I believe I already installed it. So, yes. And then the other one is sudo apt get install neofetch. I have to have those two things. And once again, neofetch is already the newest version installed. I can't remember if this came with Twister or if I installed it. I'm, I'm not sure. But nonetheless, I have to have htop and I have to have neofetch. All right, guys, so as I wrap up this episode, I'm going to leave you with HTOP and NeoFetch being displayed on the screen here. This is Twister. 
it is a great operating system we have only touched upon a very small part of it there's so much more to explore about this operating system and i encourage you to do so as we move forward in our videos we are going to show you different operating systems that you can use for the raspberry pi and we are going to continue to just try to bring you guys content that is worth watching we are still getting familiar with the software that allows us to edit these videos and as time moves on I assure you that we will get better at this we are still in the learning phase but we thank you guys for taking the time to watch our videos we really appreciate it guys have a good day and we'll see you next time